they'll take a win even if they have to give up the three points here because UCLA had it first and 10 from the 15 yard line after the special teams miscue. Nicholas Barmira knocks it through from 27 yards. He's up at the line of scrimmage in the pass, batted down in the backfield. Mitchell Magude, the senior out of Corona, California, already started out with a, a pair of three and outs to open up the new season. The defense is really going to be the, the key to turning this uh, team into a losing record to, into a winning record. It's another big booming punt, 51 yards, but flags again. Great line from Justin Fry yesterday. He said the passing game is like music. You got to find your rhythm. You got to get into a groove. Maybe a little run game will help boost their spirits. Britton Brown with a first down scamper 22 yards. Already in the red zone once today, picked up three. Looking for more, big gaping hole up the middle. Charbonnet takes it the distance. 21 yards and a touchdown Bruins. Shout out to the right guard, right tackle, Clemens Anderson. Watch how they cave down that entire right side of the Hawaii defense. I mean, that thing's caved all the way down. And Charbonnet, just an easy road into the end zone. Azanero, the defensive coordinator, already mixing the pressure packages up for this UCLA defense. That was Bo Calvert on the outside. Hawaii so far with negative yardage, and it's intercepted. And the takeaway for Daytona Jackson. Go by a little bit too easy. That time, laying in the weeds, laying in the weeds, and watch him. He's right there in the middle of your screen. He reads the quarterback's eyes and got one paw out, brings the ball in. That's one of those big time highlights by a defensive lineman making a play. Remember last year they had Osi Adigizua. He goes to the NFL, and Daytona Jackson showing right now that he can bring. Britton Brown is the back from the one. Brown sidesteps into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Long sustained drive and now points off of a turnover. Uh, the tight end, 88, Mike Martinez. Again, it's just great blocking up front. Offensive line, tight ends, everybody doing work. And that time, just an easy waltz into the end zone for Britton Brown. Only needed to go nine yards, four plays. Look at the blocking from the blimp angle. Good combo to have with the experience returning and the transfers they've added. And now a sack as they get to Cordero again. Negative 13 yards so far for the Rainbow Warriors. Third down and 20. Cordero on the move. Able to sling it downfield for a completion to the 24-yard line and a flag down back at the five. Went to Washington State. Todd Graham enters. Cordero taken down again at the 45-yard line. And that's back at the original line of scrimmage. Another negative play, a loss of four. From the 31. Cordero steps up in the pocket and then runs out of time and he'll go down again. Matthew Shipley on to attempt the 48-yard field goal. Places down, kick on its way. It has the distance and it is good. A big game against USC that really opened a lot of people's eyes. DTR takes it, hurdles at midfield, and down he goes. Exposed in midair for a moment. Just get down to the ground, move on to the next play. Over 100 yards rushing now for UCLA. Why not more of the same? Keep feeding him. Charbonnet refuses to go down, and he'll go the distance. 47 yards for his second score in his UCLA debut. These UCLA backs already still in the show early on in his first game of the season. Just watch the legs, though. Watch the legs of Charbonnet. Boom, 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 taking hits. <laughs> but those legs are still turning. Those legs. A guy who is the active NCAA leader in all-purpose yardage after a stellar career at Jacksonville State and now Hawaii. Cordero on the move, strong arm down the field, and it's caught into UCLA territory by Turner at the 40. Anchored by this big offensive line. Lots of experience, you know, they took their lumps in their younger days. Now 
another big gainer ripping that one inside the 25 is Brown and a gain of 15. For ASU, they will all uh, get their season started next weekend. Charbonnet, another big gainer. Terrific block downfield and a touchdown. The third of the day for Zach as he goes 21 yards and gets over 100. Better than 10 yards here in the first half. Well, earlier it was all about how big the holes were that they ran through, but this time Charbonnet just checked my footwork. And a terrific first half so far for UCLA, 31 to three. Five and a half to go. Day Day Hunter will take it into Bruin territory and down inside the 40 year pickup of 16 yards. Bruins dropping eight. Cordero looking right now left into the back of the end zone and it's broken up intended for Martin. Thompson Robinson on this drive alone. They pick up the blitz, allows DTR to look deep downfield, and it's hauled in by Kashmir Allen. Touchdown, Bruins. On the drive, and he caps it with a 44-yarder. Well, we were wondering when Dorian Thompson Robinson would settle in. Well, I could say from that throw, he settled in. Good job by Kashmir Allen, the converted running back to wide receiver. Out of Houston from North Texas. Loose ball recovered by UCLA in the end zone in the special team. Rolling on the field. Making a return for a touchdown. Was able to get on it. And it's another one of the new guys. Ale Cajo, the transfer from Alabama. Let's see if it's him. Yep. Again, we're in week one, Beth. <laughs> or week zero, technically. And special teams have not been special for Hawaii today. Remember early to start the game, you had the punt that was down at the 15 yard. And now down to their fourth guy, Phillips. Cordero, looking deep, has a man across midfield, and it's caught and taken down at the 30. Aaron Cephas, and a big play for Hawaii. Had his eyes in the backfield, a great delayed. Watch the delay of the play action. Everything kind of stops, and Osling eyes in the. Cordero gets away from the rush. Got another man open behind the defense. Inside the 10-yard line, Dior Scott gets first and goal. They'll come the other way with it, and a touchdown to Caleb Phillips, capping off a 90-yard drive for Hawaii. Some good blocking here on the perimeter. Yeah, it's almost like a screen play. See how you get the blockers out front? Ethan Garber, a pro style in the pocket, delivering strikes. First and 10, they'll run it again, and it's a good one. Slashing out across the 45, a first down run for Keegan Jones behind John Gaines. And then, of course, returned and for 20 years coached the Bruins. And uh, he was at the helm the last time that UCLA won the Rose Bowl back in 1986. And getting more of uh, your depth out there onto the field. Still got the full season ahead of you. Yeah, a lot of football left. Great play by Cordero. Pops up in the air and it's intercepted. Another turnover created by the UCLA defense, their second pick. It kind of, it goes back to us talking to, to the head coach this week and Ty Graham. And what did he tell us? This will probably be one of the toughest teams that we'll play all year, offensively, defensively. And so I think you want to keep your starters in. You want to keep your guys in and understand what it's going to take this year for Hawaii to be successful in terms of getting to their like, fifth consecutive winning. Second and 19. Garber's taken down in the sack back at the 45. Laulu. A chance here for Shea. Out of the backfield. Yeah, may have gotten a hand on it, did the Bruin defense. Incomplete. It's fourth down. It's a UCLA football. Under a minute to go. 44 to 10, the final. UCLA, a dominant performance at the Rose Bowl. They rush for 248.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.